it's festival season oh my god this is my time to shine you don't understand i've got my festival now it's got my little festival clips and i thought why not try and do like a cute festival inspired makeup look which is quite easy to do because if there's any time for you to like experiment and play around it's the summer i've even stuck on these little butterflies so if you want to learn how i did this look and have a little chat with me then please keep watching first up is skin prep let's get this show on the road i've got my festival nails sorry sorry how cute are they they're like pink and orange with the little swirls it took forever i need some rings i've literally lost all my rings i've got like little things from primark this is also primark look it looks like Gemma owens necklace from love island last year little butterfly clip we've got to we've got to prep our skin hands like just grow up grow up don't be coming at me saying your makeup doesn't last and your makeup looks like shite. It's because you haven't prepped your skin. So I'm using the Dr. Pawpaw 4-in-1 Serum. This stuff is so good because all their skincare is really affordable and it has really nice ingredients that like help your skin's barrier stay hydrated all day. And then I also have their eye cream which has retinol in. So I feel like I'm definitely getting to that age where I need anti-aging in my skincare because... They say you're meant to start at 25 and you know I'm halfway through 27 so life comes at you fast. This is also going to help stop creasing under your eyes too. And then face SPF, come on now, come on now. At this big age we need to be wearing SPF especially at a festival in England. Even if it's not that sunny you're going to be out all day and the sun rays are what prematurely age your skin. So please, this one is literally a two in one. It's a day moisturiser and it has SPF 50 especially on your face i don't care if you want to do 20 30 on your body whatever but you don't want to get wrinkles honeys and this one's good because makeup goes on nice over it a lot of other ones i've used they've just been like greasy and nothing sat but yeah love the dr Pauper one well we are all prepped using revolution power brow it's literally three pounds i think very very cheap just to run something through my brows i am so excited i'm actually not going to the festival until next week so this is almost like a trial run think of it like you know when a bride tries out her bridal makeup before because i just want to be able to do this easily like i don't want to have to stress or anything and i always find with like festival looks it's better to practice them before if you can because they're usually a little bit harder and a bit crazy but i am so ready like get me in a fucking field right now I just think there's no feeling like it. Like, you feel so free. Everyone's always friendly. Like, the music's amazing. The vibes are just actually immaculate. Prime your skin. Do you want your makeup to stay on in that sweaty film when you're dancing like this? Yes! So we're gonna prime. And this stuff, the e.l.f. Matte Primer, is the shit. Like, it's so cheap, and I don't know what it is. It just gets rid of all my oil, and I am an oily bitch. Let me tell you, I am a sweaty little rat. Um, I really am. So I know it's tried and tested. This actually whole routine is gonna be like a long wear routine because I know what it's like at festivals. You're not gonna have time at festival to keep touched up your makeup. Like what in the portaloo mirror? Like no, you're not gonna even care about that. So yeah, this primer is a godsend and it kind of fills out your pores too. So next foundation, NARS Sheer Glow. Oh, it's expensive so I only ever get it in an airport so I'm gonna have to top it up but it's so nice for like holidays and it just goes on so buttery and it stays on surprisingly long for having the word glow in the name such a nice color like I have fake tans I use the revolution water tan again very affordable I just want it to be full coverage but I feel like sheer glow still has like a nice skin like quality to it it's not like heavy block foundation you can see that i'm gonna use a spare minerals one i'm actually gonna like carve out my brows i don't usually do this but i'm liking like a cleaner brow look lately than a like messy one and i'm just gonna use it to like prime my eyes it's more of a cream base so it feels very nice and it stays on which is good and then for under eyes i'm gonna use the nyx bear with me concealer serum which is really nice and lightweight and you know what it's actually not too light for under the eyes because when i'm tanned i find all my concealers are too white and i don't know if i'm like into that look i feel like i'm growing up i'm gonna do like a basic contour highlight routine oh my god i wonder if i'll meet like a festival bay this year i love meeting guys at festivals because it's so fun you're like it's like a holiday romance you're like dancing the tents like to some random like electronic music i don't even know i'm going to mighty hoopla which is in brixton and it's actually like an lgbtq plus 
friendly festival um so that's why i feel like i can be a bit more fun with my makeup because if i was going to somewhere like wireless it's more just like crop tops and shorts whereas this i feel like people will go all out using the revolution ultra cream contour i mean i've nearly hit pan because i love it so so much i feel like the gays are gonna turn up like there's loads of drag queens performing and kelly Rowland, kelly Rowland, flo and kelis my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like like it's like my dream lineup. I really hope Kelly does like old Destiny's Child stuff as well. Say my name, say my name, when no one is around you. So I don't know if I'll be pulling anyone at this festival. Maybe a sexy girl, who knows. <laughs> and I forgot to show you, I got this Revolution like contour and highlight sticks and they're so good for doing the nose and getting like a more precise snatch and because it's not as like wet as that contour, it stays on a bit more. So yeah, I really love it. Let's make it into like a little button nose. And then it just blends in so well. So if you're someone who like struggles with nose contour, I definitely recommend getting them. And they're really cheap as well. Using the Kylie Glow Balm in shade Feelings Neutral. Which is just a really nice coral. I feel like I'm going to do a pink eye, but I think coral is just going to make me look a bit more tanned. And these blend so well. I also went to so many festivals last year. Like, I, we even did a camping one, which was pretty brutal. So I'm kind of glad this one, I'm going to be able to sleep in my nice warm bed and have a shower the next day. And not have stinky boys waking me up at 5am, blaring out, like, drum and bass from their tents. But it is an experience. <laughs> Let's bake and set everything down now using the Huda Beauty Cupcake. It has like a really nice little pink tone to it. And I use this Trigwell Powder Puff, which honestly just sets it so much nicer and like pushes it into the skin. Do you see what I mean? Like, oh, okay, I might have put a bit back. I might have put a bit. Ah, it's in my eye. A bit too much on. We can do our smile lines under the contour forehead get any shine away we're also going to see scissor and like i could cry well i did i cried when i got tickets because i was so happy so i'm like what am i gonna wear to that as well so we like i feel like summer is when you need the most different outfits and like you could have the most fun with makeup and stuff also i'm gonna need you to help me pick my outfit for this festival i once I got the makeup down, we can try on a few things. The eyes, right, I've ordered these and they look so good from It's In Your Dreams. Always have loads of gems from them. Like I had them at Halloween and at Christmas. I'm thinking of using these bottom ones because these are a bit crazy. But also the gold is so pretty too. I feel like this is where you can have the most fun with eyeshadow. So I've got this Alyssa Edwards Anastasia palette. I'm not sure if you can still get it actually. Probably on eBay or somewhere. And then this Riviera Anastasia palette, which I think you can definitely still get. And they have all the crazy colors. I want to take a little bit of this coastline color into the outer crease just so I have something to work with. These blend beautifully. Okay, now's a scary bit because I'm going to take the shade Monte Carlo. I'm going to try and do a cut crease. So it got a bit crazy and I was doing the cut crease and then I thought I'll do something in there and like I'm thinking I might just have to start again. I don't know if I'm feeling this look to be honest. Guys, we're starting again. <laughs> Even professional makeup artists like me. Joking, I'm really not. But you know what I mean. This is why we're doing the trial today. Have a Red Bull, get some energy and calm the fuck down, alright? Everybody has those days. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's alright. It's alright, lads. <sighs> not had one of these in like three weeks and... Because <sighs> obviously I keep getting my panic attacks. I don't want to stress myself out. I feel like I'm gonna have such a rush. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna go back in with that coastline color in the crease. I don't want anyone messing around now. Like, let's take this seriously. I'm thinking to do a halo eye, which is when you have like dark, dark and light in the middle. So I'm thinking we do pink, pink, and then we do like a light gold in the middle. I think that could be a bit different, a bit crazy, a bit cute. And this, you can be a little bit messier. I feel like I just don't, Cut creases just don't suit my eye. I need to stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not gonna happen. Done the orange, and now we're gonna use Monte Carlo. And we're just gonna gently build it up on either side. And then don't be scared, just go straight into the inner corner. That looks better already. See, see, sometimes the first try is not the best try. We're gonna get even crazier, and we're gonna take Bahamas, which is like a bright neon pink, and just focus that more onto the lid, and blend it up so it's not too crazy. But, oh, that is pretty that is nice oh i am gonna take it underneath too guys so just 
running that under switching it to the Alyssa edwards palette back rolls she really want to come for me that way this little queen like, oh my god i love her we're gonna go with inspire and just dab that in the middle oh that is gorge that is gorgina guys oh we have to wear the Alyssa edwards palette for obviously for the lgbt festival i feel like this would be a nice look for pride as well i am going to manny pride cute kind of giving like summer popsicle energy i am gonna do a liquid liner too kvd tattoo liner if you want your eyeliner to stay on all day it will stay on literally like a tattoo so and it's very very black which i love and this will just kind of deepen the eyes up a little bit and give a nice base for the lashes to go on because it's a pen it's super easy just to get a nice neat line i have done a little wing but i feel like the butterfly stick is just gonna cover it but why not it's a festival after all. Unreal. See, I like the eyes, but I just want them to pop a bit more. So I remembered I have this glitter also from It's In Your Dreams. And they have like glitter and pigment glue. So I'm going to just pop that on the middle just to give them a bit more of a, you know what I'm saying. Just got a little bit of the glue on my hand. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit and pop it over where we've already put that gold. But I have quite short creases, is that a thing? So you can even put it right on to the top of your crease. Then we can either use our fingers or the brush and just place it directly over. Oh my God, I just did one eye and it looks so good. It's completely changed it. Like I can't get over how much that has brightened that my eyes up. Goes on so well with that glue. Look, it is so much brighter. And then the glitter like reflects. <gasps> that is so pretty. It is time for some mascara. I got the Fenty Hella Thick. And it does what it says on the tin, Hans. It really is the biggest, blackest brush. Perfect for a fe festival. Like, sorry, Hans. Look at that barely need to use any like i feel like riri's not gonna play around when it comes to mascara really like nice chunky festival lashes i'm also gonna fluff up my brows using the fluffy brow wax from wonder brow stuff is so good really pushes all the hairs up i actually have these little three quarter lashes from primark which are very chunky but i feel like they'll give like butterfly energy so let's try these always with the tatty lashes glue i swear to god i don't use any of the glue that the lashes come with i only use this because it's kind of like super glue for your eyes i've just lost the lash oh my god <laughs> it's on my arm new tattoo ones so i already got one on and i love it i think these were literally a pound so absolute steal because they're three quarter lashes they're really easy to get on because it's just like on the outer bit of your eye <laughs> see what i mean just pop them on the outer bit unreal feeling very butterfly-esque right now now it's time to put on the little butterfly i'm so excited i feel like this is what's gonna transform it into like a full-on festival look my god i'm so scared that i'm gonna like break it imagine that i'd be so upset oh oh my god does that look cute oh my god I actually moved it up a little bit so it's more in line with my liner because that gives like a more cat eye effect but oh my god I love it so much it's made the biggest difference like oh, especially with the little butterfly clips it's a mood and it's so easy I think they were like seven pound on ASOS or you can get them directly from their website um okay let's finish the face now just gonna dust on a little bit more powder to really make sure that no oil gets through this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish so good but very expensive so i barely ever use it because i'm trying to save it and isn't this blush just the most adorable packaging you've ever seen it's giving like vintage it's from too faced and this one is called golden hour it's like a blurring blush a really pretty pinky peachy color and i feel like blush is the first thing to come off so especially for a festival i'll be happy to whack a little bit more on recently just got this and it's stunning the rare beauty flaunt highlighter look at that ah! so we're gonna do a little bit just on the cheekbones are we looking like a neapolitan ice cream up here vanilla strawberry chocolate i'm even gonna put that 
all over my like collarbones and shoulders because i feel like at a festival you want to look extra extra glowy lips is where i'm struggling because i don't want it to be too much so i'm going to use this one from misguided pickup line in the shade bougie i cannot wait to see flow i feel like they're gonna be the biggest girl band of like the next generation like they give destiny's child vibes like I'm gonna put your shit in the cardboard box Changing the number and I'm changing the looks Just a really nice like natural peachy colour And I'm kind of like in decided between gloss or lipstick I actually want something pretty natural So I'm gonna go with this Collections Vit Hit Lip Oil Because I feel like it's not gonna be drying It's gonna look good You're gonna be moisturised all day And I mean you could just put it over a lipstick If you want it to last a bit longer Oh my god that has such a nice shine Okay, yeah, that goes really well. I'm very happy with my choice. Okay, honestly, sometimes I think setting spray is a bit gimmicky. And I thought that until I used this. Oh my fucking god, I'm not even... There's not ad, there's not anything. And I hate when people say that, but I swear to god. I just picked this up roguely. I found it and I was like, oh, why haven't I tried this before? The Laura Mercier 16 hour translucent setting spray. The spray is shy. I can't lie. The way it sprays, look. It's like, you have to hold it really far back. When I wear this, my makeup doesn't fucking budge at all. I'm very passionate about it because I need people to understand. Like, my face is oily. It slides off. This shit will keep it on. I don't know why. Something about it just works on my skin. And the bottle's really, really cute. So, guys, are we done? Is the makeup done? It looks incredible. It was hard. But we got that in the end. And I think that's fairly easy to do. So, I'll do a little close-up for you. Skin looking cute, blusher looking pink, and these are the eyes. I love the lip butterfly and the lips. Oh, I love everything about this. So happy I did a trial. So like next week, I don't have to panic. I'm just ready to do this. Okay, stay with me because we have to pick an outfit. So option number one is this beautiful, divine, incredible Opoly black mesh number, and it's got little diamantes. So I'm gonna wear it with just like a bikini underneath. Okay, so this is the first look amazing right i've got it on with these cowboy boots don't you know if you can see it's pretty see-through so i'm wearing a whole ass bikini like my ass is out but if there's one time you can get your ass out it's at an lgbtq festival okay and then i've got this bag from urban outfitters just to brighten it up a little bit but then i don't know because the makeup is so fun and i don't know if like the black outfit's just like making it a bit too boring i actually got this from a charity shop how cool urban outfits but yeah so i'll show you the next outfit too this is the next outfit from white fox and i mean it is anything but boring it's literally a chainmail dress with graffiti over and this is orange so it might be a bit more fun okay i can't lie i think i love this one way more already like i'm sorry it is given extra maybe two extra just for a london festival but we get one life it's only summer 2023 once so we should just enjoy ourselves this one definitely goes with the hair and makeup a bit more and like where else am i going to get to wear a chainmail dress do you know what i'm saying and i've literally just got it on with black boots so it dresses it down a little bit i could just bring like a little denim jacket but yeah oh my god thank you so much for watching i hope you got some good festival inspo and i'll see you hans very very soon what the actual fuck, bye.